Hoppity hoppity hop 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 Yes! It is the countdown to Easter! Oh, I bet you're getting excited out there. Some of you do some pretty cool stuff for Easter. And here with Auntie Bookworm, we're doing some pretty cool stuff too. So here's my little bunny friends. This is Fuzzy. And here's our little Easter bunny. And they're getting all set. You know, they've, they've got so many things to do. They've got eggs to paint. They've got chocolates to make. Oh, I heard there's going to be some cookies happening. Easter is just so awesome. Oh, look, there's my friend Gracie out tonight. Hello, Gracie. That's from Fuzzy Bear. And hello, Gracie. That's from our friend Easter Bunny. Well, I hope some more of you are coming on live and joining us for some songs and stories. I'll show you something else. Look what's here. Look, look. That's right. Tonight we are going to meet Easter Ribbit. This is pretty funny stuff. Can you tell what kind of animal that is? There you go. That one's a frog. Of course it's a frog. So I'm going to get started today with my favorite frog song. Oh, you guys are getting all the favorites lately. Very favorite. This goes way back to when I worked at summer camp and I first learned this song. I just love it. Okay, come on. You got to stand up. You got to learn two actions. All right, are you up? Here we go. So your first action is ga. Pretty easy. And your second action is goo. So ga goo. They go together. At one point in the song, we're going to go ging ga goo. All right, let's do a little adjustment. Here we go. All right. Ready? Oh, and there's another thing to do like this. I hope you get in on that part. Here we go. I don't care how old you are. Are you standing up? Come on, people. If you have little people around you, they need you to be a good role model. Show them what to do. Come on. Even if you've got just two old people like me up there. Come on. Up you get. One, two, here we go. Gagoo went the little green frog one day. Gagoo went the little green frog. Gagoo went the little green frog one day. And they all went king gagoo. But we know frogs go la di da di da. La di da di da. La di da di da. But we know frogs go la di da di da. They don't go king gagoo. Mm, ah, went the little green frog one day. Mm, ah, went the little green frog. Stick your tongue out. Mm, ah, went the little green frog one day. And they all went, mm, mm, ah. But we know frogs go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. But we know frogs go la di da di da. They don't go, mm, Mm, uh, last time, Gagoo went the little green frog one day. Gagoo went the little green frog. Gagoo went the little green frog one day. And they all went king Gagoo. But we know frogs go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. But we know frogs go la di da di da, they don't. King Gagoo. Alrighty. You guys are fantastic. I know some of you were doing it. Look, we're getting we're getting some messages coming in. Hello. Oh, I think Mrs. Harris is there. Who's with you, Mrs. Harris? Is Jack there tonight? Oh. He's been skipping out lately, I think. Just Maddie's been coming. Well, hello. I guess I miss my friends too. I miss you guys. So it's, uh, it's been a few weeks, hasn't it? But at least we're getting together here. So please keep coming back for more. And um, I've got a little story for us because we're doing our countdown to Easter. And this is our first one. Easter ribbit. Are you good at making ribbit sounds? Ribbit. Ribbit. That's not a bad one. The Easter ribbit 
is written by Bernice Chardier, and the illustrations are by Charles Mucucci. Look at him. What a cute little character we have tonight. The Easter Ribbit. Oh, he's so happy. Are you so happy? It's nice to have something exciting to look forward to. Here we go. Easter was coming. The bunnies were very busy making pretty Easter baskets and carrying jelly beans and painting eggs. I really hope you get to do all those things. Froggy watched them from the pond. Sometimes he wished he were a rabbit. They seem to be having so much fun. Hmm, maybe he could convince Turtle, sorry, to let him paint her eggs before they hatched. Frog, Froggy quickly ran to the beach. Turtle was there, covering her eggs with sand. Ribbit, ribbit, Froggy called to the turtle. It's almost Easter. May I paint your eggs? Hands up, who thinks she said yes? Hands up, who thinks she said no? Keep quiet, the turtle warned. Can't you see? I'm trying to hide them. If you were to paint them, every bird in the forest would see my eggs and eat them before the babies could hatch and crawl to the water. Go back to your log and stop bothering me. Froggy walked sadly back to his favorite hollow log near the rabbit tree and he crawled inside. <sighs> After a long time of Feeling sorry for himself, he fell asleep and he had a dream. In the dream, he was an Easter ribbit. Not quite a rabbit, but not a frog either. He was rushing through the high grass to deliver Easter baskets to the children. The baskets were full of things that Froggy loved. Jelly beans, lollipops, flies, tiny fish eggs, seaweed bars, and delicious mosquitoes, too. Can you see? Anyone seen a mosquito yet this year? Not yet. Suddenly, a terrible noise woke Froggy. He opened his eyes and peeked out of the log. Get my hand out of the way there. Can you see him? The chief Easter bunny had just landed in a helicopter. He was carrying armfuls of lists of all the children who needed Easter things. Mrs. Rabbit and all her assistants came running out to greet him. Well, I wonder if our Easter Bunny travels by helicopter. That's so cool. Never seen him, but I like the chocolates. You are doing a wonderful job, said the chief, but we need more helpers. Can you handle an extra load of deliveries? Oh dear, oh dear, said Mrs. Rabbit. We, we don't have enough bunnies to deliver the baskets. Flossie and Fernie caught colds last night and I'm afraid they're, they're running a fever. Uh-oh. And Hubert and Henry hurt their feet, squeezing under a fence. Oh, 
They can't run until next week. What will we do? I think I see where this is going. Advertise, said the chief Easter rabbit. Sorry, Easter bunny. Help wanted, Easter rabbit. Help wanted, help wanted, Easter rabbit, even on their little laptop. Call Mrs. Duck's employment agency. She can fly over the woods to drop ads for the position tonight. Mrs. Duck's a quack, but she may be able to help us. All right, said Mrs. Rabbit. We'll do our best. That's all we can ever ask do our best. Well, Mrs. Duck was sound asleep when Mrs. Rabbit called, but she woke up and she wrote the ad anyway. Unfortunately, Mrs. Duck was very nearsighted and didn't see her spelling mistake. Instead of writing an ad for an Easter rabbit, she had written it for an Easter Ribbit. Help wanted. Easter ribbit. Help wanted. Easter ribbit. One of the ads landed on Froggy's log. <gasps> Froggy saw it as soon as he woke up the next morning. An Easter ribbit, said Froggy. That's me! It was his dream come true. Quickly, he wrote down Mrs. Duck's address and ran to the employment office. Although she couldn't see well, Mrs. Duck suspected that she was looking at a, a frog. Hmm. Nevertheless, Froggy was the only client who had come into her office for a very long time, and there wasn't a rabbit in sight. Look at her glasses. <laughs> oh my goodness. Great illustrations. Mrs. Duck ran to her storage room and cut out a big pair of paper bunny ears. She tied them to Froggy's head, and then Mrs. Duck passed a big, pasted a big cotton ball on Froggy to make a rabbit's tail. Froggy was divinely happy. He ran to Mrs. Rabbit's tree right away. I feel like some of you are going to be doing some cutting and pasting after this story. Mrs. Rabbit and all her assistants were working feverishly to color new eggs and fill new baskets. Glancing quickly at Froggy's big floppy ears, Mrs. Rabbit didn't notice could she not notice that he was an Easter ribbit and not an Easter rabbit. She po pointed to a tall tower of Easter baskets outside the back door and told Froggy to start his deliveries. Froggy looked up at the baskets. Ribbit! He gasped. I'll never be able to deliver all of those by Easter. Can you see the big pile at the door? <laughs> there was only one thing to do. Quickly, he hopped to the pond, ribbiting as loudly as he could. Oh. I think we need some help with the ribbits here, folks. Everybody joining in? Ready? One, two, three. Ribbit! 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 <coughs> Froggy called all his friends and relatives to come over and help him 
Soon a crowd of frogs of all shapes and sizes leapfrogged to pick up the baskets stacked behind Mrs. Rabbit's tree. Oh, this one's living in a can. Oh dear. That reminds me, clean up your litter, everybody. <laughs> And if you have been anywhere near Froggy's log at the crack of dawn on Easter morning, you would have seen them marching through the meadow to deliver the Easter baskets to the children. And at the head of the parade was Froggy, ribbiting a happy song. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Oh, those rivets really catch you in the throat, don't they? My goodness. So here's Froggy's song. And honestly, we're going to give it a try here. Auntie Bookworm's first time singing Froggy's song. Going to do it more as a rap. Ready? This will finish off on that. Here we go. I'm a froggy in a hurry and I really gotta scurry before the sun comes up. While all the kids are sleeping, I'll be hopping, sprinting, leaping. I'm as happy as a pup. I can't be a rabbit, so I'll be an Easter ribbit. It's true, I'm green. But if I'm seen, I can really ad lib it. I'll leave some Easter baskets and everyone will cheer. A task, get a task, get the ribbit has been here. Yeah. Okay, so there you are. From that day to this, if you listen carefully, you will always hear little frogs called peepers singing in the woods in the early spring. They are telling the story of Froggy the Easter Ribbit and how he became a hero to frogs everywhere. There you have it, folks. You heard it here. Easter Ribbit. Are you excited about Easter? I bet some of you are. I think maybe you're expecting some special things to happen. I know I am. And some special things are happening here at Auntie Bookworm. You know what? We're reading and singing some more Easter things tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And it's going to be awesome. My shout out tonight. Ooh, shout out. My shout out goes to each and every one of you. I can't name you all because you didn't all write me messages here. But... Let's go through a few. So my shout out goes to Gracie, Jack, Maddie, Mrs. Canonico, Carolyn, Jackie, Kennedy, and Corinne, Mrs. P, Ashley. Oh, some of you are trying to get in there twice. I see you there. Those are the comments I see tonight. So I'm doing a big shout out. Thank you for participating. If you do something special for Easter to get ready and you'd like to tell me about it in a message or a picture or um, write or send something um, through sending a picture to me, please, that would be so awesome. If you want, I will post it up on the page so everyone can see some of the Easter fun that's going on. Maybe you're just getting out some of your favorite Easter toys and you want to take a great picture with your Easter toys. Whatever you like, if that's something special to you and you want to share it with us, we're all in this together, everybody. So let's try and just make this a wonderful weekend for everyone. Thanks. Keep being kind. Bye, guys. Bye.